Hey yo, Tuesday is today, and this is a Tuesday toy photography tutorial. I for sure left y'all hanging after part one last week. The link for that one is in the description and will be posted at the end of the video as well. But it's not necessary in order to watch this part two. But to do it, lighting with layers is what I originally called it. But I stayed up a few nights thinking, should this really be what it's called? So I think I'm changing it to lighting the layers. Actually, lighting with layers might work better. I do have a few of my past shots that I'm going to break down to kind of go over this point, as well as taking a new shot with this guy. The point of this is to show there's more to lighting than just focusing on the subject. There's more to light than the subject. Lighting the background or even the back of the subject can add so much to your shot. In filmmaking, the use of a lamp or some other kind of shot that's like in the scene is called a practical light. So this doesn't include the big main video lights that are actually lighting the scene. The lamp can help give a nicer context to the shot as well as make your video lights more believable. This was also the point of part one in learning about the three point lighting because you're getting your subject lit and the background or the back and you're adding this depth, adding these layers of light. So in these shots, I tried to do that. Not every shot is gonna have practical light nor does it need it, but it can help. Also in these shots, notice the layers of light. Maybe it's a different color or it's helping establish our character or it might just look cooler. Another thing you may notice is the use of atmosphere. So half the time I use atmosphere aerosol. I'm not sponsored, I just like it and it's awesome. Even a little dab goes a long way. Sometimes I'll just use a smoke brush in Photoshop. It's not the same thing, but it can kind of give that same vibe and can give a reason to add some more color to your photo. Like I love adding those on lightsabers or lasers to really to really help bring it all in. Fog or haze machines also do this. It's just, you know, more stuff to work with and I don't have one. So what does this have to do with lighting? Well, light wants to hit and bounce off stuff. What this atmosphere or haze does is it gives the light something to bounce off of or bounce through on its way to the subject. Just like in concerts when they use the fog or smoke machines, it's going everywhere and it's really filling up the room. Even if you can't see the obvious haze, it's there. And then when they do the LED lights and the lasers, it's shining through. And specifically with the lasers, you can see the lasers. Like if there was no haze, you could do it and you wouldn't see the laser. It would just be like, oh, here's the dot of the laser, but there's no beam. Boom, haze beam so for our new shot we are using big tuna i mean big bib fortuna the wanawanga he's a really great figure right out of the box i just opened them we're gonna go set him up for this shot i'm using this random dark diode that i have and i'm gonna give him some big boys for company i had poked holes to get this lighting effect that i used in a few shots like the John Wick one I showed earlier. So I'm gonna put this torch light right up against it at a pretty strong setting. And then later on, I'm gonna spray atmosphere and you're gonna see the effect. So next I will add this loom cube light and bounce it. Once again, the greatness of the bounce light. So soft, so good, just do it. And the last light we will be using this loom cube edge light. So convenient to have on my table that I will bring around and put it through the big door. And I'm gonna point that at the back of our squad. So this looks pretty solid, but for the final step, we're gonna spray some atmosphere and watch the magic. It really just completes the whole look. For sure, it still would have been fine without this, but I love this look. After editing, I came up with this image and breaking it down, we have the lights in the background really bringing life into the image. Does that light on the left mean it's outside? Were those holes on the right from a gunfight? And the atmosphere filling in all the gaps just make it seem like they're inside the dirty palace or something. Make sure you check out part one and tag me in your work if you find some of this stuff useful. Adam using King, go create and inspire. Peace.